Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of my Mythic Mobs tutorials. Today we're going to be covering the set AI mechanic. It's not quite the same as run AI target or run AI goal. Uh, this is literally just an on off switch for mobs. Simple enough, right? All right, tutorial's over. Just kidding. Anyway, so um, before we get started, as always, I would like to go ahead and advertise my Discord server. The link will be in the description below. Lots of good stuff going on in there. Always new stuff to learn about. Uh, questions being asked, really cool showcases being shown by some really cool people. Pretty cool place to be. Definitely recommend checking you out. Also, make sure to uh, subscribe if you haven't already for more content along the way. I know I hit hiccups in the road, but you all have stayed with me thus far, and I appreciate you all. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing as always, we need to go into our mobs folder. After we're in there, well, we're gonna go and make a new file called aimob.yml. All right, now that we have our mob file, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna do all the exact same things that we always do. So we're gonna name him AI dummy. Type zombie um, display AI dummy. Okay, we're just gonna go straight to our options. Prevent sunburn true. Uh, silent, because you know what they say. Silence is golden, duct tape is silver. And then some other basic stuff too. So prevent other drops. If I can type true, you know, prevent. Um, you know, there's other ones I'll probably remember, uh, as we go. Uh, it's been a little bit, not gonna lie, sorry, so. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the skills. Now, this one is quite literally set, set AI, AI equals, and you can do true or you can do false. Doesn't really matter which, um, well, it does matter which, but... That's literally all there is to it, and I will give you guys a few examples to kind of determine um, the, what you may want to do with it. I, I we'll, get, we'll find some examples to do. So what we're going to do, we're going to duplicate, set one to true, set one to false, and we'll do the true to on damaged, and then the false to on interact. Okay. All right. So now that we have our mechanics set, we're gonna go ahead and test it out and see what they do. So as always, MM, reload. Okay, now, MM, M spawn, AI, dummy. Okay, so I didn't turn off movement speed this time for a reason. Uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna right click our dummy here. Bop. And he realized he stopped moving. I can walk up to him now, entirely harmless. It's kinda weird that I'm able to walk through him like this too. I guess the AI does that. Um, but yeah, so you um, you can turn him off, and then when we punch him, bam, back in action. Now, I know this seems like so simple of a mechanic that what would I ever do with something like this? Well, I will kind of, I will give you a couple ideas here. One, you can do a boss intro. So we'll do like, I don't know. Let's see, we'll do potion type equals levitation duration equals 20 and then level equals one i suppose at self on interact and then what would be fun is we're going to take the ai equals false and then we're going to move it underneath the potion and then we're actually going to add a delay to this so delay equals 20. So what we should see is him levitate into the air and then kind of just get stunned, really. So let's go ahead and turn him back on, bam. And as you can see, it does this kind of effect where he just gets suspended there. It's kind of cool. Um, it'd be a lot better if he didn't move or wasn't targeting anybody. So that way when he flew up in the air, you know, it would just be a very simple like that going on. Maybe he just floats up and does some beginning intro monologue thing. I don't know. Uh, one thing I want to go ahead and keep in mind too, potion effects such as levitation 
will not work if the AI is already set to false. Um, same thing is true like whenever we punch him and he takes knockback damage. The reason it's working in this instance is because it's using that skill. It's like packet sniping basically. If you are familiar with what that is, that's exactly what's going on. So that's why the AI turns off uh, pretty much uh, before you even punch him or turns back on before you even punch him because mobs cannot take knockback when their AI is deactivated. Fun fact. So next thing, maybe maybe instead of a boss intro, you want to do like some really cool, I don't know, explosion thing. So let's go ahead and set this to 40. Delay equals 40. And then we'll do like effects particles p equals large explode at self on interact and then we're going to want to head that delay again okay actually let's do huge explode i think it's huge explosion it's been a while since i've used these particles not gonna lie so huge explosion delay equals 40 uh at self on interact let's go and reload bam up he goes. Kaboom. Yeah. So how cool would that be? And then we'll do like, I don't know. Remove delay equals 40 at self on interact. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> I probably should have um had his AI set first. But anyway, so you can kind of see my point though. Say say your dummy is really, really, really low health and you decide, hey, I kind of want to do something cool for an, uh, a, a death animation or something of the sort. You can just uh, do a lot of this stuff. We're going to right click. He floats up. Cool, right? The only way to kind of get rid of that, um, how he's like moving around in the air, it would be to also do like, I think it's slowness. It's either slow or slowness. You do level 10. Save, reload, spawn him in. Okay, you're being chased. There you go. He's not moving anywhere. Kaboom. Cool, right? Of course, you can add sound effects as you go, but I'm not going to go that far into it. All right, and then last but not least, what I am going to do, this is going to be for the Mythic Crucible users, so if you don't have this one, uh, if you don't have this plugin, none of this will be applicable to you from here on out. Uh, if you do have it, then, well, we will be able to work together on this one. So we're going to change this on interact here to on signal. Um, deactivate, I guess. I don't know why I capitalized the A there. Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff. So imagine if your AI dummy, if you ever played any of the Mario games, was one of those like little round bombs just walking around and it's going to explode. Kind of like a creeper, I guess. Um, you can always use something like this. Actually, let's go ahead and do that real quick. We're going to make another one. We're going to copy all that. We're going to paste it. We're going to change a few things. So we're actually going to change this to Creeper. We're going to rename it to Bomb Dummy. Okay. Okay. We're going to just delete all these. We're going to copy this. We're going to delete it, and we're actually going to just move it down over to here. Okay, so now that we have this set up, if you need to take a moment, feel free to do so and pause the video. If not, we're going to go ahead and go into our items stuff. So, Mythic Mobs, Items, and then AI Tool, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so first we need to have our tool, so we'll say diffuser. I think that still counts in both aspects. So ID, stick, display, diffuser. Okay, now we're not going to worry about lore or anything like that. We're going to go straight to the skill. We're going to do skills, signal. Um, S equals, I think we said deactivate. So, at EIR, R equals 20 on use. Okay, so now that we have that set, we're going to go and reload. We're going to spawn in our creeper. Uh, we're actually going to go into creative first, uh, just to just to get away. So we're going to do 
another reload. M spawn bomb dummy. And I kind of messed something up, so we're going to have to fix that again real quick, actually. So let's go ahead and see what I did wrong here. Oh, <laughs> I'm dumb. Type bomb. Yep, that's a mythic. That's a mob in Minecraft. All right, so we're going to kill all. We're going to reload. I know I just did, but it's a good habit to have. Spawn. Bomb dummy. There we go. Look at that. Okay, so we go back. Actually, let me get my tool first, and then I get what I call it. Diffuser. So who would have thought I capitalized the I and the D and I just needed to make the D lowercase and it suddenly worked? Don't you just love syntax? Oh well. So I have my diffuser now. I'm gonna go ahead and reload. We're gonna go back into survival. And check this out. Ready? Ready? You ready for this? And we're gonna right click. Bam. Ah, crap. <laughs> uh, aye, there we go. Uh, be careful when using something like this, as uh, you can see I have another plugin trying to interfere with it, so I have, uh, no one has claimed this block. Probably be better if I used, like, I don't know, blaze rod or bone, even. But now that you see that his AI is turned off, we can literally go right around him. Isn't that crazy? And you can make this, like, a temporary thing, too. So, say if I were to do... Um, let's see... No, we're actually going to keep that one the same. We're just going to change the mob. So we're going to duplicate this line. Oh, I saw the delay on there. That's why it took a moment. So delete the delay. Set AI false. We're going to change this line to true. And we're going to have the delay set to 60. So that means for three seconds, your mob is going to be deactivated. And then it'll reactivate. So let's go ahead and reload. Hey, deactivated, one, two, three, reactivated. And just like that, your mob is back in action. This could be fun for a really cool, like, temporary thing. If you're doing, uh, if you have some kind of tower defense minigame on your server, uh, using mythic mobs or literally anything of the sort, it's just a really cool, you know, a, a really fun concept to play around with because you just stun mobs. And it's cool because if they're, like, jumping mobs, they will be suspended in the air when their AI turns off. It's, it's just a lot of fun. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this. It will only apply to mobs who cannot mess with player AI because there is no player AI. Just something to keep in mind. But this does affect any mob that, you know, has the skill set up for them. So I'm going to go back into creative before I get exploded. And we're going to go ahead and cut off the video there because I believe I actually covered everything that I really could with this tutorial. Um, it's pretty fun. Like I said, lots of creative cool ways you can use it mostly just for um i don't know timed things in my opinion but if you like this video please make sure to give me a thumbs up on the video as well as subscribe for more future content i uh, i appreciate all of you coming back to my video to watch this new one again it really means a lot to me especially after how long it's been but that's all i have for you all so thank you so much for watching and i can't wait to see what you come up with in the future